ओके मेनी टाइम्स यू माइट कम अक्रॉस सिचुएशन वेर यू विल हैव सर्टन रैशनल नंबर लेट से फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू गेट सिक्स अपॉन माइनस सेवन और सेवन अपॉन माइनस थर्टीन और एट अपॉन माइनस ट्वेल्व और थ्री अपॉन माइनस थर्टीन ना इन सच अ केस यू वाइल हैव द न्यू मेरेटर विच इज पॉजिटिव ओके अगेन यू हैव अ पॉजिटिव न्यू मेरेटर बट द डिनोमिनेटर विच इज देयर इन ऑल दीज केसेस इज नेगेटिव right so conversion of rational numbers into positive denominator number when the denominator is negative right now the method to do this is extremely simple we have learned in our previous videos that when for any uh, rational number p upon q if you multiply both p and q by the same number the results remain unchanged right so let's apply an extension of this rule to this particular case so we what do we do we div, uh, put in this p into q p upon q sorry and we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by minus 1 right so when the let's say the denominator is negative right the only way you can convert this into a positive number is by multiplying it by minus 1 So seven into seven will give you seven, and we know that multiplication of integers with same sign always has a positive sign, right? So seven into one will give you seven. Negative into negative we know will give us positive, right? Six into one will give you six, but this is a multiplication of integers with different sign. So therefore, the Product will have a negative sign, right? Similarly, you can apply the same rule to this one as well. In seven into minus one, okay, divided by minus thirteen into minus one. Same formula, same application. Minus into minus is plus thirteen into one is thirteen. Seven into minus one is minus seven. right let's do a little bit of a tweaking here let's say for example if this was minus 8 upon minus 12 then what it doesn't change anything if you have to convert the denominator into positive we know that we have to multiply it by minus 1 so minus 8 into minus 1 okay and minus 12 into minus 1 so this will give you 8 upon 12 Why minus minus will give you a plus sign out here. How about this one? This is no different than these. So just solve it at your end. Okay. See the logic which I have applied in the previous questions. Apply it out here and get the result. Now let us also see that in case you know here we were just looking at getting the denominator positive. How about a situation when you are given a particular rational number? Okay, let's say for example I give you um, minus eight upon twelve. Okay, and I tell you to convert minus eight upon twelve into a rational. number which has one numerator of 32 and two denominator of 6 right now if you notice you have minus 8 upon 12 okay and what i am asking you to do is you have to convert this into a rational number which has a numerator of 
right is equal to something some equivalent fraction where the numerator is 32 I don't know what the denominator is right now what can 32 be written as 32 can be written as minus 8 into by what should I multiply 30 uh, minus 8 to get 32 we know 32 when divided by 8 gives us 4 right but to get 32 which is a positive sign obviously both the numbers have to have the same sign so if this is minus 8 this has to be minus 4 right and I had a denominator of 12 right now if you recall there was a property which I told you wherein I said that for any rational number if we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the same number the results remain unchanged so I have multiplied minus 8 which is what I had here by minus 4 so similarly if I multiply 12 by minus 4 the results will remain unchanged right so effectively what will I get again this multiplied I already know that this is 32 right and this will be what 12 into 4 is going to give me 48 minus and plus different sign so I get minus over here right so basically minus 8 upon 12 is equal to 32 upon minus 48 right let's see the second question the denominator of 6 I need a denominator of 6 so I have minus 8 upon 12 and I have a denominator of 6 now what is happening here basically the denominator is reducing from 12 to 6 okay now if I kind of just divide 12 by 6 what do I get 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2 right so I can write the 6 as 12 divided by 2 right now again the same property which I told you what property was there if you have a common divisor okay which is D which divides both the numerator and the denominator the result remains unchanged so what happened was that in my case I divided the denominator by 2 to get 6 accordingly I will also need to divide the numerator by 2 and in that case the fraction which I get will be equivalent solving this for this what do I get minus 8 divided by 2 will give me 4 with a negative sign 12 divided by 2 is obviously 6 so hence minus 8 upon 12 is equal to minus 4 upon 6 okay 